Today we're going to be playing in R3 Speed Bonanza MOA Pit and I actually have no plan whatsoever. So let's just get right into it. So as you guys know with these videos I actually like to uh, show off which powers I get that way you guys can pause and you can go ahead and read about them and you know see what they do. So R3 Speed Bonanza it's a pretty simple concept. First of all like it is speed so mood, which means you get eco every 4.2 seconds for those who don't know. And you basically have almost infinite money, except for now when we're ecoing, but that's okay. So first of all, I want to get up enough defense while continuing to eco. We just need to get something up that's kind of permanent and uh, will last me for a good couple of rounds. I'm also anti-stalling right now, but playing in R3 speed bonanza, that doesn't really matter at all. Like It's, it's going to make no difference, so uh, yeah. Right now, round four, coming into it, we're going to start sending green blooms, and I will go for this thing. Bam, there we go. And I'm also going to target it too close, just because I don't really want it chasing. So that should be nice, and now we just continue to eco. So I don't really know about my opponent here. He didn't really look too good. I didn't take a big look at his, um, what's it called, at, at his like account or whatever. I, I didn't see if he's a grinder or not, but it doesn't really matter because R3 Speed Bonanza is just about winning. You don't even have to go late. You just have to kind of calculate when is the fastest way to, or what is the fastest way to win. And for me right now, I think it will probably be round 20 PFBs, most likely. So let's go ahead and upgrade this and continue to eco. Maybe I'm thinking of going for a sniper up here. There we go. I want to go for like 2000 eco ish. I think if we can get 2k eco and then get the sniper running, then we should be uh, we should be just fine. But we'll see. We're looking good. At least the bomb tower is kind of helping us out. We might take a few leaks here, but that's okay. I don't really care right now. My only priority is eco. He goes for a second bomb. Fair enough. I'm gonna stop at like 2k. There we go. Alright, so now we want to go for the 1-4. I can get that up in a little bit. And if he starts to rush me, it uh, should be quite easy. I'm just going to go for the 4-2 bomb and we'll be fine. But yeah, it doesn't look like he will. So we're going to go ahead and go for a balloon trap over here. And since he did not get up any camo defense, let's just do this. Go for an extra slow and I think we should just easily take the win here. I was going to sniper farm, but... Sometimes your opponents suck, and uh, you can take them out early. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, he doesn't suck. All right. Well done, buddy. Well done. Guess we're going to take this to round 20 instead. So, since we get, like, twice as much money from sniper farms, we're actually going to be just basically spamming supply drops however much we can. And I'm thinking of going for 1, for 2, or 2, 4. There we go. And then just doing this and collect as much as possible let's go for another one up here and another one oops let's go for that nice round 18 let's go ahead and send a bunch of these here we go and let's go ahead and send some camos up behind here as well and we take the win round 18, okay? So it's all about being aggressive, and you also have to know how to defend. And I think I would have just gotten up um, probably just a couple more balloon traps, to be honest, and I would have defended that fine. But that is game number one. Let's move on to game number two. So next game up, we are playing on Frozen River. I have got Quick Shot, Price Gouge, and Improved Eco Boost. And we actually have Ice, um, Village, Chipper. This one is gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. So of course, Eco right away. Go straight for an ice tower up here. And I do want to get down a second ice. There we go. Just going to go for a 1-0. I actually kind of want to triple ice this spot if I can. So I'm thinking let's sell that. And then wait a little bit. He's hopefully going to eco at some point. Let's put that too strong. There we go. And let's see if he's going to be good here. All right, round three, and he's just kind of panicking over defending. He doesn't really need to panic that much, to be honest. Like, he's, he's doing okay. I'm going to go for another one down here just to kind of help with everything. And, uh, of course, the ice is going to help out with um, 
with all of these. Let's go for bam, bam, bam. I think that should be okay. Triple I stall. Yep. Okay. We hopefully we're good. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to sell and rebuy them. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Anyway, let's go for an improved eco boost here, and let's go for. Bam, bam, bam. Eh, I, I could I could have timed that better. I'm gonna be honest, but uh, whatever. Let's go for another one on strong here, just because now he's uh, now is when he can start sending um, sending regular white balloons, which I don't really want. I'm thinking I can go for this up here, and then we can just continue. Let's go for more snap freeze, maybe. Am I good here? Triple barrel. Please keep that to first. Help me not die. Let's go for improved eco boost here. Uh, we do have quick shot, however, I don't really think we can use that much right now. Nah. Price gouge will be annoying, so I'm thinking. Actually, we can go ahead and sell that and go for this thing. And then we can sell all of these and go for an ice shard. There we go, and I do need some camera detection. Great. Alright, at this point we should be pretty okay. Let's go ahead and price gouge him. He's gonna price gouge me to I think we should be okay to this. Yeah, just because of the regular AI balloons will be fine. Yep, no problems. These white balloons, however, should do some sort of damage. Yeah, I don't think he's good to this. I think he's gonna go down. And that is win number two. GG's to Mr. Triple Dollar Sign. Let's move on. Okay, we're against Mr. Top 10 Grind. We have Lightning Bolts, Crowded Balloons, and Eco Choke on ships. And we got Copra, Dart, Ace. So this one is actually probably going to go semi-late, I'm thinking. Because since we have Ace, it's actually... I don't know. It's going to be a weird one. It really is. I'm going to go ahead and go for one of these here. And... Then I want a Spolt up and running. And then I just want a bunch of Cobras. Here we go. Put that too strong. Actually, I could have started out straight with Cobras, probably. Eh, that was just kind of dumb. Alright, so we do have Eco Choke, which uh, I'm going to save a little bit until he gets up some more Cobras. So basically the plan is, right now he's only going for Cobras for some reason. Basically the plan is mixed Eco, but with Cobra Farms. So let's switch over to these balloons right here. And we want to wait until the round ends. So round four is kind of a long round. So let's go. I can just continue going for these. Round four should come to an end right about now. I think, maybe. Oof, nice. We just got in the eco choke in time, which means he didn't get that much money from his Cobra farms. All right, so that's kind of when we want to use our eco chokes is at the end of the round, because that way it also chokes his Cobra income. Also, he has no eco income right now, which is pretty sad. So I actually think I should easily be able to win this. Let me see. Let's go for some crowded uh, balloons here. See how he handles them. I'm going to wait till the end of round seven. The thing is, right now, he's not ecoing, which is pretty dumb. His name is Top 10 Grind, so he's definitely a grinder, which is, I mean, fair enough. You go for it. Alright, let's, uh, for Juggernaut here, go for this, and I think that was probably the wrong time to eco choke him. Yeah, let's crowd of blooms again, though. He's going for another lightning, fair enough. And looks like he's gonna all out me. So I am going to go for this thing and I will just keep it to the to the circle path. There we go. And the thing is, I can actually go for a couple of these. So, you know, what? let's keep it to the round path because I'm thinking he's going to rush me early and he does have eco choke, which is going to be a little bit annoying. I'm going to go ahead and go for one more crowded balloons just because we have a lot more eco than he does. He's starting to adjust me slowly, but adjustments are really not going to do anything to me. Because he does not have enough of them. So I'm going to go ahead and actually adjust him. Right before round 14 here. And let's go ahead and go for another one of these. Let's eco choke him. That eco choke probably was worthless. Again, I should have saved it. My bad, dude. My bad. I do want to go for a few more Cobras though. And a couple more Juggernauts here. 
right, here we go. I think we're okay. I actually don't even need this. I really don't. Let's go for that. I'll put it to the circle path. And at this point, I think we're uh, just chilling. Let's go. Let's put everything here to the circle path. He's probably going to try and send me a CMG or something, I'd imagine. But even with the eco choke, I can still get up a... Uh, I, I can still upgrade my, my ace and, uh, and and do some damage, so... Like, we should be should be good here. Alright, so he's actually... Oh, he's starting to rush now. And I actually think I'll just get up a Spectre here and I'll be fine. Let's just go for a Lightning just for the fun of it. And, yep. Looks like we defended that just fine. This guy still barely has any eco, which is uh, not good for him. I'm actually going to sell these, go for another Spectre up at the top here, targeted to the Circle Path, and let's just get rid of these two. Alright, so how do I want to do this? He has the ability to ground zero, so there's not really much value in uh, in the Copras right now. So I'm thinking, how do I want to do this? There's a lot of stuff that I can do. I mean, I can... I can go for a bunch more of these here, just for the extra money. I can wait till around... 32 and then start rushing him But let's just get a couple more of these up keep on ecoing probably gonna go for I don't know how much eco I'll probably eco to like round 27 or so like uh, Yeah, we should pretty much be uh, be okay here. I think round 22 and I can't tell if he's ecoing or not maybe I Just really can't tell I don't know if getting up a bunch of Cobras right now would actually help Like I don't know if adjusting it would make the rounds stronger but, oh, that's actually a lot of stuff right here. Even his Spectre is, like, having a little bit of trouble keeping up with everything. Is he going to leak that one blue balloon? Uh, no, nah, he didn't. Okay, so he's using an Eco Choke right now, but it's kind of useless. It's not really going to do too much. Nice, go ahead and use that Lightning. That'll surely help. Uh, let's see, we have 7k Eco now. So we can probably push it a little bit further, but... Yeah, we've completely won. Even if he is equine right now, and I don't know if he is, but even if he is, that's still not really going to save him. He's not going to have enough money. And round 32, I will start to rush him. Actually, round 31, I think he'll get overwhelmed. I could perhaps even just start now, but he's actually starting to leak down quite a bit to round uh, 25 here. Yeah, I think he's dead to that. That is a GG. We end up taking uh, taking the dub. All those ceramics kind of overwhelmed him. So uh, good game, Mr. Top 10 Grind. Good luck with everything, and uh, let's move on. All right, so we have got better bundles, improved tower boost, and rubber gold here, and we're playing Mortar Boat or Boat Mortar Farm. So uh, yeah, this one is actually going to be pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Actually, we just want to go straight ahead and put down our farms, and then we just want to focus on farming pretty much. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put down the better bundles all around the middle area here. There we go. Actually, I might put them down here, but again, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and send him a bunch of these right here. There we go. And yeah, going for the mortar first, kind of a mistake. You just kind of want to go for the buccaneer, but uh, yeah, whatever. He'll be good. He will be good. So I'm thinking the play here is probably to go for BIAs. Mostly. Like, that's going to be my position at least. So I'm going to go ahead and go for one of these. Just keep that on first. Don't really need more than one. So, uh, yeah. First, Actually, first we're going to go ahead and go for a couple factories. And then we're going to go for BIAs. I think that it's, they're kind of hard to fit more farms on the like the left side of the map i think it's easier on the right side for some reason but i don't know I'm not 100 percent certain but i know you can fit like eight farms or something crazy but it's almost impossible to do so honestly don't even bother with it let's see can i fit one more up here yep right, let's go ahead and just sell these go for this i'm really not in too much of a hurry i i know like i'm farming kind of bad here i could have been way faster but Mm, it doesn't matter like we're both this is gonna go into a late game anyway and it's, it's basically just gonna be an end game so uh yeah let's go ahead and sell that go for a plant here and now we just wait a little bit so i'm thinking the first mortar we can uh place that over there come on thank you give me the plantation and a republic followed by another 
uh, factory or whatever. Go around 10. He might rush me, actually. We don't know. We'll see. If he does, I think I'll be fine to it. I'll just get up a big one, like, over here. There we go. And an artillery. That should be perfect. Now we go ahead and get up BIAs. Beautiful. Here we go. And I really don't like his farms. What are those? He completely messed up. He could fit way more if he wanted to. But he, he just, I think he just completely messed it up. Alright, so we're gonna get a decent amount of eco, and since we're gonna go like... I don't know, I feel like we're gonna go semi-late, to be honest. So, uh... Yeah, we kinda, we kinda just want the eco from this. Alright, so I'm thinking here... I am going to go ahead and just put down... Five Buccaneers, if I can fit that, I can. And we'll upgrade them all to aircraft carriers. This should help out a little bit with the damage. Let's target them all too strong. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and get a bunch of these down. So I should be able to fit these all around. I can't actually fit too many of these, which is a little bit disturbing. There's another one. Can I please fit one here? Nope. Can I legit only fit two on this map? Ah, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Anyway, at least we got a decent amount of money. I'm not gonna rush with BFBs. I think I'll wait till around the CMG mark. We'll see. Alright, can I please just go for some more of these? No. Alright, let's go for this down here. And I'm thinking I'll probably sell these in a bit. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and send him a space CMG here and we'll see. If he sends me a bunch of BFBs, I'll just go ahead and stall them. Like, we'll, we'll be okay to that. Let's see. I really want to be able to fit more. I'm actually surprised that I'm not able to fit more of these on this map. Oh, he finally rushes. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, stall. And just keep on stalling forever. Oops, bam. Come on, how am I messing this up? There we go. Beautiful. Let's just keep on doing this. He's probably gonna boat pull that, I feel like. Or something. Oh, he's gonna stall that, okay. Hey, we take the win. Let's go, that is a GG, otherwise I probably should have started sending a bunch of uh, regular CMGs. But let's move on to our final opponent. Alright, so these games are always funny. Let's see, we have Exploding Mega Pineapples, Long Tower Boost, and Extra Slow. But we have Farm Ninja Blue, and the fun thing about this strat is, first of all, we can put the farm up here. Go ahead and just send him a little bit of stuff. And where do I want to place that? I'm thinking right here is probably okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Come on, thank you very much. Let's uh, go for that thing. Beautiful. And send him a bunch of space. Alright, so I can fill the top of the area up here. Up with these. And right now I'm just uh, using my Mecha Pineapples. Because he's basically not punishing me. He's just allowing me to, uh, to greet on. Let's put that down there. And just keep on sending him stuff. Because as long as I send this guy stuff, he's not going to be focused on me. He's just going to be focused on himself. So, all right, there he goes. Let's go ahead and place that down. Go for a 3-1. There we go. And I think, yeah, I can fit another one over here. I Can you only fit four farms on this map? I swear to God, you should be able to fit more, I feel like. Oh, that's actually, that's kind of sad. Can I at least not fit one more over here? No, really? Wow. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for that. Sell that thing, don't really need it. And let's sell these, go for that. And let's go ahead and send him a bunch of stuff. Let's use extra slow just for the fun of it. He's probably gonna upgrade to a balloon jet, so I think. Yeah, oh, he sells his farms, let's go. We actually get what we wanted. Is he dead to that? Okay, well, I, 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 I don't, 
Okay, you know what? You guys can have one more opponent. Okay, we're on racetrack and we got a balloon snipe, long slow, and budget balloons. And we're against Uncle Pollux. Global rank 6,000. Okay, so this guy's definitely not a grinder. Probably just a casual player. Anyway, our strategy is interesting. I think I will... Yeah, probably just start out with a tag shooter, to be honest. Tag shooter is pretty, uh, pretty neat to start out with. And the big balloon... Uh, whatever these are called, the balloon snipes, are actually going to be quite nice because of CMGs. So we don't really have to worry about the first couple CMGs. Uh, regarding BFB, I probably think getting down like a bunch of like tag shooters up here, maelstroms, and then just wizards for the rest of it, will probably be fine. Yeah, we don't have a boost, however, so that will be interesting i'm thinking my, my plan here is probably since we don't have a boost i will probably either rush it all out round 22 or figure something out because we don't have a slowdown and we don't have a boost so it's all really just going to depend on how good my opponent is but i think round 22 cmgs are um are going to be the way to go bfbs are not going to do anything because i can maelstrom my way out of that but cmgs might do some damage so i'm thinking we have budget balloons i'm going to use one on round 10 and then i'll use the second one on round 22 um with the cmg so there yeah that seems like a plan of course we got the long slow and in case he sends cmgs back at us we do have a couple balloon snipes which he does as well and he is uh, in his free will to uh or in his free right whatever you want to call it to go ahead and use them so i'm gonna go for this right here there we go and yeah now we should be gucci and now we should just be able to continue eco. And I do... I'm thinking round 8, as soon as round 8 hits, I'm going to use budget balloons. As soon as I can send pink balloons, because we are probably not able to send infinite pink balloons yet. So that should help us get to that stage. And uh, the eco should actually do a lot. Plus the money that we're saving from it. I actually don't know if it's worth using on eco. Like mathematically, somebody can probably argue that it's not. But I still think it's pretty good. But if it's worth it or not, I don't know. But it's definitely saving us a bunch of money on the early rounds, which gives me more to eco with. So, yeah, let's see. We now have 8k in cash because we're barely spending any money on eco, which is nice. And we got 2.2k eco. Beautiful. It's round 10. I do got to be a bit careful for round 12. Round 11, I'm fine. But round 12 is a bit different. So I do think we are going to go ahead and get like two of these down. For now, I don't know if he's gonna send me, like, a bunch of camel balloons. He's pretty much just copying my setup, except for my ring of fire. And he's going for a heli, okay. Let's see, I don't think he'll just randomly rush me with camel region camos, anything, zebras, or anything. Oh, he will, okay. Let's see, are we good here? Yeah, we should be. Alright, we're gonna need these wizards anyway, so I'm just gonna save them here and just get rid of that. There we go. And then get a couple maelstroms up at the top here. That is gonna be for later. And for now, we're just gonna eco. I'll probably stop ecoing around around 20, probably. I don't know. It all it all also really depends on when he's gonna rush me. We're gonna have to see. Alright, it's so around 16. Still going strong. I'm thinking he might rush me like round 20 with BFBs. I don't know if he will. So he's wasted one budget balloon already on his rush. Wasn't really worth it, but we'll see if he uh, if he's going to use another one. I think the best thing he could do is probably send me CMGs as well on round 22, and then we'll just see who dies first. But I don't know what his plan is or how he's, uh, he's going to do this. Well, let's see. We're getting in there round 19 soon. So I, I'm probably going to have like 6.5k or close to 7k once I stop ecoing, I think. Round 19 is like semi-long. So uh, that should be a good round. Or is it? Is it, is it about to end? Nah, there's still a let's. Yeah, let's go. Right, so we're probably going to end on around 6.5k, I think. I'm going to stop as soon as round 20 hits and then... Actually, do I even need to? Yeah, probably. I need to get some defense going. So, uh, let's go ahead and get 6.5k. And get a couple of these. Bam, bam, bam. 
I'm gonna do a wand. Ten should probably suffice. Let's get up like a couple maelstroms here in the back. We can always sell these, but let's go for five for now. And then I'm thinking we can slowly sell these as well. And I don't think he's gonna be fine, but we'll see. All right, so he's slowly starting to get up a little bit of defense now. He also stopped decoying. Is he gonna go for the defense? Maybe. It would actually be funny to see if he did. He's going for helis, though. I don't know how reliable they're gonna be. Oh, shoot. I forgot to use my budget booms first. Oh, that's sad, but whatever. Let's go ahead and just use one long slow right now. Sell these and just keep going while we still have our budget booms. Uh, one more. Nice. And that should be it. So he's gonna go ahead and use balloon snipes now. Fair enough. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I think he's gonna be dead to this. My long slow should come back soon, but that's not really gonna change much. Uh, is he gonna maelstrom here? I probably would if I were him. Yep, there he goes. Oh, so he's, he's budget balloon, or using budget balloons now. That's not really gonna do too much. You need some maelstroms, my guy. And we take the cake. GG, that is gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.